Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're stepping into the Boots of Freedom Fighters in 63 days, a game set during one of the most intense period in Poland's history. If you're into tactical heart pounding gameplay with a focus on teamwork and survival, this one's for you. Let's see what this game is about. Quick disclaimer, this game was gifted to me by Keymailer.co, but as always, all opinions in this review are my own. Sixty-three days thrust you into the shoes of the first generation born in a free Poland, only to have the freedom ripped away by foreign occupation and the outbreak of World War II. You and your companions are bound to a singular goal, to reclaim your city and the nation's independence, no matter the cost. The odds are stacked against you, but this isn't just a fight for survival, this is a fight for freedom. Your mission in 63 days is all about planning and teamwork. The game pushes you to think tactically and strategize every move, you're not just running and gunning. Each mission requires precision, quick thinking and careful coordination with your team. It's all about making the right choices at the right time. What's great about 63 days is the freedom in how you tackle each mission. Whether you want to strike fast and hard or play it slow and stealthy, this game gives you options. You need to rely on your wits and choose your tactics wisely because every wrong move could be your last. The sense of camaraderie in 63 days is palpable. You and your companions are like brothers and sisters, relying on each other to survive. The group dynamic is central to the gameplay. You'll need to communicate, make tough calls and work together if you want any chance of success. The firefights in this game are intense. One minute you're planning your next move in the quiet streets, the next you're in a full blown shootout with bullets flying and bombs dropping. Every mission feels like life or death because that's exactly what it is. But 63 days just isn't about tactics and combat. The emotional weight of the story hits hard. You feel the desperation, the anger, the determination of these characters. Their bravery and their sacrifices feel real and it gives you every mission a deeper sense of meaning. So is 63 days worth picking up? If you enjoy tactical strategy heavy games with a strong emotional core, then you shouldn't give this one a miss. It reminds me of the Commando series, absolutely fantastic. It's all about the fight itself. It's not just about winning, it's the teamwork, the sacrifices you make along the way. Based on this, I'm gonna give this a four out of five henpai. So there we have it, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if 63 Days is a game that you'd want to try. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more reviews and first looks. Until next time, stay sharp and never stop fighting for what matters.